Provides more than 500 jobs and makes steel for some of the goods we use every day. But as the Iron Tech and Iron Coat plant celebrates 25 years in New Carlisle, the impact it's had on town goes way beyond dollars and cents. WSBT 22's Patrick Roth is here now. And Patrick, some officials say the plant is at the heart of all the growth the town has seen recently. That's right, Rick. Uh, the plant has a huge tax base for the town, and it's brought in more people to the area and helped other local businesses grow. And when you ask people how much this plant means to the community, they say it's impossible to measure. At a time when people were saying the manufacturing industry in the United States was dying, a steel plant opened up here in New Carlisle. And 25 years later, as people talk about bringing manufacturing back to the United States, the IN Tech IN Coat plant is still running and at the heart of New Carlisle. I don't think I could put that in words. We have been so fortunate to have them as part of our community for 25 years. Um, the town's really expanded since um, IN Tech's been here. They, um, it was a slow process. Over the last 25 years, I'm not sure of the numbers, but we've probably doubled in size. More than 500 people work at the plant, but its economic impact is much bigger than that. We do a lot of carry-out um, pizzas with the, um, the workers out there, um, probably about 25, 30 percent of our business. Um, because they are here, you see other plants here that were not envisioned here at that time, that have grown up around us. They are wonderful supporters of the community. As big as that economic impact is, the role that the plant plays in the community and the importance that the people who live in New Carlisle attach to that is almost impossible to measure. The number of people, the goodwill that com the company has with supporting uh, local, um, local things, Little League, the high school, um, the, the union shop is, the, they have, they have a, a baseball diamond that they support and it's just a really bonus to the community. Almost everyone I spoke to said they couldn't imagine the town without the plant being there. And it's also interesting to note the economic climate when the plant first opened. The steel industry in particular was in very bad shape here. And now, Jennifer, as more people are talking about ways to bring industry back to the United States, officials and union workers point out they don't need to come back because they never left. And they said that's a testament to all the cooperation at the plant at every level. Yeah, Patrick, thanks very much.